So I thought this would be a, a cool quick little thing to show off uh, in between videos. Um, this is a little uh, Z80 uh, computer. Um, uh, oh yeah, this uh, runs a uh, Zillog Z80, a genuine one. It's actually from an uh, old stock. And uh, uh, well, uh, this will just go over the uh, over every component. So it has a variable speed clock, speeds which can be set with the knob here. It's indicated by that LED. Um, there's a little uh, salvage RAM chip here, the uh, HY6264. It's uh, eight kilobyte uh, RAM, um, of which I'm only using um, 64 bytes now, uh, because I ran out of cables for the address pins. Um, now this chip here is actually an Admega. I don't have an EEPROM, nor do I have an EEPROM programmer. So I figured I'll just use one of these big uh, Atmel chips. Uh, as an EEPROM emulator and as uh, well as well as an uh, I.O. emulator and uh, well it uh, provides me with some feedback on this little LCD screen which connects to the uh, Atmega to I2C so as you can see it's uh, it's uh, running a program at the moment so this is the um, the code on uh, running on the uh, at Mega, and this is the uh, 64 bytes of uh, ROM I have uh, just manually written. <laughs> just using a big list of uh, the uh, Z80 instructions, uh, which also includes all the hexadecimal uh, values of the opcodes, as well as uh, how many um, bytes it takes uh, for the full instruction. So that includes the opcode and the uh, data needed. So uh, yeah, going back here, I think we'll just run it uh, slowly so you guys can see what's, uh, what's happening. Oh, by the way, this Arduino is just here as an uh, ISP, an in-system programmer for the uh, Atmega. It's not uh, doing anything else. So I'll press this button here, which resets it. And now it's running. So I was reading uh, a load instruction it reads this from RAM 57 and increments it and it writes that to the I.O. now it's 58 and now it gets the instruction to re write it back to the same RAM location and there you go, 58 and this is a uh, jump to address 0 and then it just loops because uh, yeah, it starts at address 0 now our 58 will come, become a 59. You can see it on the I.O. Uh, message. Yep, there it is. So it's just a real simple uh, program to uh, test if the various uh, connections work. So the CPU is working, the RAM is working, the I.O. is working, and obviously the uh, EEPROM as well. Although the I.O. and EEPROM are you now handled by uh, the Atmega chip. And just virtual I guess <laughs> but hey <laughs> not just skipping things because the Admega can't keep up let's reset it oh there we go so that's sort of speedly but of course it's very limit limited because of the Admega uh, especially since it's running on its internal at 8 megahertz clock um, of course uh, in the future this will repl be replaced with a real EEPROM and real I.O. hardware and um, this uh, Z80 will run at 4 MHz so, which is a lot faster than it is now because this is uh, cause 100 Hz or something maybe slower, maybe 50 or something I'm actually planning to put an AY3 sound chip in there um, for the future when I'm adding uh, like. The expansions, like different cards, will be uh, modular. 
also add a uh, big AMA free sound uh, synthesizer thing and uh, this thing maybe just become like this digital synthesizer workstation thing my whole 8 bits <laughs> okay that's it bye bye